Hey guys, what is going on? Payne here once again, and thanks for joining me in 2014. A new year, it's a new era as well on this channel, as Next Gen has finally arrived. I can now record. I did go ahead and actually buy a HDMI splitter. I couldn't wait any longer for Sony to release their patch. But anyway, I do hope that everyone had a fantastic holiday season. You guys are going to have to excuse the, the terrible voice. I did indeed get a cold just after Christmas. It was just after Boxing Day. I'm sick of colds because if you remember back to, I think it was early November, I got a cold, had to miss a couple of days here on YouTube. So annoying. But anyway, here we go. Next Gen has finally arrived on this channel with PS4 gameplay. We're kicking things off with a new career mode on FIFA 14. I am now the new manager of the Spanish side, Valencia. I'm really looking forward to this actually. Um, I was kind of debating which team I should go with, whether I should stay in the Premier League for another season with Swansea. I was, uh, I was looking forward to that challenge uh, because Swansea, they don't really have that big of a budget, so you have to work with the players that you've got. Um, and, and the same goes for Valencia as well. I mean, I got the nine, I got the fifteen percent increase on the transfer budget because I switched from current gen to next gen. Um, so I was given just uh, just under twenty million to spend. So it isn't that much. Uh, so I had to work with the players that I've got as well. As you can see, I was just going through the squad report here, seeing the sort of players that I've got because I'm not that used to the uh, the Valencia side. And that's basically why I wanted to go with Valencia. I wanted to head on for New Horizons instead of sticking in the uh, the Premier League. I may go to Swansea eventually or I may do another team in the Premier League at a later date. But for the time being, and I hope you guys will enjoy this career mode as well, being with Valencia. It's exciting. We're in the La Liga. Um, we're just going to go for it. We're going to see what we can produce, what sort of players we can bring in. If we can get Valencia back to winning ways in the Champions League, uh, maybe even win the La Liga and beat both Barcelona and Real Madrid to that trophy. It's going to be a tough challenge, especially with the Spanish giants Madrid and Barcelona in this league, but you know what, I relish it, bring it on, I'm so looking forward to it. And as you saw a bit earlier on, my fixture list starts off with a big game against Malaga and we play Barcelona three games into the league. It's gonna it's gonna be mental. I'm not looking forward to Barca because obviously we're in that transition mode now. And obviously I wanna be hitting the ground running at my new club Valencia. I wanna be picking up good results at the start of the season to make sure that we are up there with the likes of Madrid and Barca. And I think we all know what Barcelona are like when it comes to FIFA. They're so overpowered. They're so difficult to try and get a good result against, especially if you're playing a legendary or world class. There's, they just hold on to the ball and it's frustrating, but hopefully we can try and overcome that and get a good result from that game. I mean, it's at home, so we've got that advantage at least, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, you guys have been seeing on the screen, I have been sending my scouts out to uh, look at the likes of Fidel. Now, Fidel, I did actually sign him for my Manchester United side in January because his contract was coming to the end in the summer so we wouldn't actually be able to play him and so you guys didn't see that you didn't see him get to play for United so I thought you know what I'm gonna go for him again um, apparently is you know he's got great potential to be a good player so I scouted him put an offer eventually of 3.5 million so I'm sure the manager at Elche will have no other option but to accept that offer and Fidel will be a new player at Valencia. I, I look forward to uh, the prospect of having Fidel on the team. He can play on the left and the right. He has that cockiness about him that Ronaldo had when he first came to Manchester United. So who knows what will happen with Fidel. As long as we keep starting him, I'm sure his stats will keep increasing. And it's just basically investing in the future. And the same goes for Douglas Costa as well. He's an all-around solid player. He's got great acceleration when on the ball. He's got good vision as well. And that's exactly what I need if I'm going to be counter-attacking the opposition with Costa and Jonas playing up front. Just what I need. It's very exciting times at Valencia because, as you know, Soldado did make his move to Tottenham. So we're going to have to strengthen that attack now that he has left the club. 
And just going through all this as well, we can see some of the deals that have been made in the La Liga. Jelovic has told Malaga that he will not be leaving Everton. I did think about maybe bringing in Jelovic to uh, support Jonas, maybe at front, go for a 4-4-2. And as you just saw there, very surprising stuff when it comes to Manchester United. David Moyes won the race to sign FC Barcelona's Mascarano. Very interesting. Uh, that's something I wouldn't like to see in real life for United. That's for another time. I did receive an offer for Hones from Hanover, the German side. I did reject it and I'm going to reject every offer that I get for a player on my Valencia side because I want to work with them. I want to see what they're like instead of just getting rid of them for the sake of it to try and bring in money. Um, and also, I did sign Douglas Costa in the end. I managed to uh, bring the price down. Shakhtar were asking for 10.5. And surprisingly, Shakhtar accepted my offer of 9.4. So I managed to save some money there, which was brilliant. Great deal for such a good player. So Douglas Costa is now a part of the Valencia outfit. And we move on to our second pre-season friendly I'm not going to show the first one against Crystal Palace pretty boring we did manage to pick up a 1-0 win boring game no highlights at all what's the point it's only pre-season but I thought I'd show this one and my next um, pre-season against Stuttgart both are interesting games there is Douglas Costa in the Valencia jersey looking very fresh ready for the season ahead in La Liga and I've got to say I am absolutely loving FIFA 14 on next gen. It's probably been said so many times from every other YouTuber out there that's, that covers FIFA 14 on their channel, but it's amazing. Guys, if you've got a PS4 and you haven't got this game, what are you waiting for? Doesn't matter if you're not a football fan, just go out there and get it because it is beautiful. The graphics, the, the actual engine that EA have used, Ignite, it's completely new to what we're all used to from current gen. It is amazing. Everything feels alive. And we also get, of course, the, the outside shots of the stadiums, as you saw before this one kicked off against Bayern Munich. The Allianz Arena looking amazing. I have seen Old Trafford as well. That looks great because they've thought about There's so much detail on the outside. It's just brilliant. And can you just imagine what... This next gen console, the PS4, the Xbox One, is going to be like in four or five years' time. It's just going to be amazing. <laughs> There's no other word to describe it. But going to this game, this preseason friendly against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich did open up the scoring in this preseason friendly. Mandzukic with a nice simple tap in for Nesh Shot Rama, goalkeeper, making it 1 0. I was annoyed. Can you just imagine the frustration that was. That I was going through when playing this game. Ricardo Costa. I was about to pass the ball. And he stepped over it. Inviting Mansukic to come in. And steal it off him. And open up the scoring. And that's, that's exactly what happened. But for Canales. It looked like he was through. Alaba closing him down. Almost shutting him down. But Canales managed to work his way through. And put that past Neuer. Making it 1-1 in the 76th minute. You gotta love the celebrations. Look at every single crowd member as well. They're all different. It's beautiful. And look at that for a nice simple tap in over the top of the goalkeeper. Just lifting that. Actually, I don't think that is Neuer, is it? That could possibly be Radar or Stark. I would probably put my money on it being Radar, the youngster between the sticks for Bayern Munich in this preseason. So the score was 1 1. There was just under 10 minutes to go of the game. Alaba again making a nuisance of himself, swinging in across and picking out the head of Mansukic. He got his second goal in this game, making it 2 1. And there was no way back for this Valencia side. That's my first loss with this Valencia side. But it's only pre season, there was nothing on the line. It was a good day out over in Germany there at the Allianz Arena. Let's just hope that if these two sides, Bayern Munich and Valencia, meet again that it isn't the same result, that it's turned around in favour of Valencia, of course. The only other time we'll go head-to-head -head against Bayern Munich now will probably be in the Champions League. Now, I haven't actually activated the Champions League group stage for Valencia this season. I want it to be a bit of a challenge. I want it to be kind of exciting for you guys to, that are watching as well to see if I could get this Valencia side in a position where we can qualify for the Champions League group stage for next season. And let me just quickly point out, look at the stadium as well. It's not even full. It's not a full stadium with the fans. It's only pre-season. 
that's realistic, that's brilliant. And when you think about it, it's only really a matter of time now, isn't it, before EA get it completely right with this FIFA series, making it as realistic as possible. So anyway, this game against Stuttgart was the final pre-season friendly before the La Liga season begun. I'm not going to bore you guys with every single highlight from this game. But uh, as you saw there, Douglas Costa making himself known not once but twice. And that would have been an excellent start to his career at Valencia. Maybe scoring both of those opportunities that he had. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. But Ivasuku, the youngster, he's only 18 or 19. Picked out Pereira perfectly there in bags of space. And what a finish. As you saw the opposition goalkeeper, he kept coming out. He's like, should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? He couldn't make his mind up. Eventually, he came out. And that was just dangerous. It was bad for him to do that as Pereo put Valencia into the lead. What a finish. I think, that, I think it makes it even better when the camera angles are just spot on. Wow, just amazing. That's another thing I love about this FIFA next-gen game. It's beautiful. Look at that nice little chip over the goalkeeper. Can't keep my eyes off the ball. So Valencia were 1-0 up. And 25 minutes into the game, Harnik into the ball, one-on-one -on -one with Diego Alves. I thought he was going to go for a sweaty goal. Great opportunity to do that. And I must say, this is probably the first time I've had this happen to me. The referee branded Diego Alves with a yellow card. 25 minutes into the game, had to be careful. Look at this for a slow-mo replay. Wipes him out completely. Stuttgart had a penalty. Could they draw level? Just under 30 minutes gone of the game. Loving all the camera angle shots. I do believe that EA actually consulted with Sky Sports with how they position their cameras when it comes to live match day. But Harnik, the guy that won the penalty, missed it completely. I was going in the right direction. I think I would have saved that if the ball was a bit lower. So the game still stood at 1-0. Stuttgart they could have so easily made that 1-1. I know it's only pre-season, but it's always good to get a win and get ready for the new season ahead. And Douglas Costa, as you saw there, using his strength, great dribbling skills as well, keeping that ball all to himself. But eventually it was lost after a poor pass from Fidel. But he made up for that. He picked out Gooley down that right wing. And I just went for it. I thought, well, it's pre-season. Why not? Let's do it. And it, it paid off. 2-0 to Valencia. Smashing goal. Top corner. And I think we are now ready for the La Liga season. So anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I do hope that you've all enjoyed as you can see the replay of that great goal. And I'm sure there's more great goals to come as we progress through this season. Just check out that camera angle. It's amazing. I've got to go back and watch it again. <laughs> it's so good you can't keep your eyes off it. But that was the final score. Pre-season is over. The transfer window will be shutting soon. And that guys is the end of this video. Again, I do hope that you've all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. If you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links can be found in the description below. Peace out.